Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and do exercise one for introduction to lab view for Team Spork. So our exercise today is going to be write a program which allows you to input a temperature in Fahrenheit on your front panel and convert it to Celsius and display it. So here's your instructions, your, Fahren, your formula to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. It's going to be the Fahrenheit number minus 32 then take that number, number and times it by 5 divided by 9, which is going to be some crazy decimal number. So this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to our lab view. I already have a blank VI pulled up. Um, we would use a project if we had to create variables, but you will learn about variables in uh, later tutorials and classes. Okay, so first off, we have to make our control and our indicator for uh, our temperatures. So we're going to go to our numeric in our controls. We're going to right click, go to our numeric, and go down to thermometer. We're going to place that, and we're going to name it um, degrees in F for, for Fahrenheit. Then we're going to make another one, and we're going to say degrees in C for Celsius. So first, right off the bat, there's an issue. Um, we want this temperature, the Fahrenheit, to be our control and this one to be our indicator. We want this one to tell this one what to do. So right now both of these are indicators. They're both uh, wanting something to be put into them. So like uh, if we want numeric going into these, we'll just show you real quick. We want, we'll just put 10 going into this. It's showing, it's going to show it's going to allow me to put this number into both of these. If I play it, whichever number, it's going to sit here and it won't let me touch it because it's they're both indicators. So what we're going to want to do is change the first one, your Fahrenheit, to a control so we can tell the Celsius what to do. So we're going to go ahead and change this to a control by right-clicking on your Fahrenheit in your uh, main. Then you're going to change it to a control. Uh, you saw where I did it right here. It's going to ask me to change it back to an indicator. So we're going to change it to a control. Now, if I, now I should be able to hook these together, and if I run it, this will allow me to change. They'll change together. Now, there's no conversion in here yet, so we have to make that conversion. So we're going to go ahead and delete this wire. Okay, so now that we've deleted this wire, we have to make that conversion. So our formula was the Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 divided by 9. So we're going to go back to our lab view. Now we need to make that conversion. So we're going to go ahead and go to our numeric, and we're going to create a number constant. Now the orange, if you don't already know, orange allows you, anything orange means you can have a decimal or uh, it's not a whole number. It's going to you can have a whole number or you can have a decimal. Now blue is going to be uh, just a whole number. You can't have any decimals with the blue. Uh, it's an integer. So we have our constant, our first constant, um, and it's minus 32, Fahrenheit minus 32. So we're going to take that number and we're going to make this 32. And then we're going to have to make a subtraction sign. So we're going to go into our numeric and click subtract and put a subtraction sign here. Then we're going to hook the two wires together, put the Fahrenheit on top and the 32 minus on the bottom because it's going to be your top number minus your first number. Then this is going to be our output right here. So then we have to do times 5 divided by 9. So we're going to go ahead and make a numeric multiply. And we're going to go ahead and run the minus into the top. Uh, your top is always going to be what's coming in and then your bottom is going to be what else you're adding to it. So we have 5 divided by 9, so we're going to go ahead and make another constant. Um, actually, we're going to build two more constants. We're going to put these here and here. Actually, I'm going to move these down. So now we have to divide. We're going to go ahead and make this 5 and 9. So now we have to divide these two. So we're going to take go in our numeric again, and we're going to make a division sign. We're going to run the 5 to the top because... It's 5 over 9. 
uh, as you can see, we're going to have five over nine suits, top and bottom. Um, this is going to be our numerator and our denominator. So then we have this bottom uh, multiply and the divide. So we're going to hook these together here. Now, this is our whole conversion. You see it's going to be this number minus 32, and then take that number and times it by 5 divided by 9, and it's going to run this back up. So now we can go ahead and run this wire to our degrees in Celsius. Now we're going to go ahead and run this continuously, because if we just hit run, it's going to go really fast and you won't notice anything. So we're going to go ahead and run this continuously, and I can click on this side, and wherever I click this, it's going to move up in degrees Celsius. So you're going to see here that if it's 80 degrees, or close to 80 degrees Celsius, it's going to be in between 20 and 40 degrees Celsius. Now what you can do is if you go to your, if you right, uh, select your um, thermometers, then you can right click and go to properties. And you can look at, oh wait, my bad, I'm sorry. Um, just right click on it and click visible items and show digital display. That'll allow you to see what it's looking at, what number it is, and you can change this number very efficiently. And you do the same thing on this side, just right click and visible items, digital display, and this is going to be your indicator. So if I want to see what 32 degrees Fahrenheit is, uh, let me go ahead and run this continuously. It's going to say it's zero degrees Celsius. So if I say it's 200 and 12 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. It's not going to show up here, but it's going to show up here because this isn't big enough. Um, so it's going to show 212 degrees Fahrenheit is 100 degrees Celsius. Um, now, if I wanted to make my uh, range higher or lower in one of my thermometers, then I can go ahead and go to properties and you can go to. Uh, Oh, scale. Okay. So it's going to show your minimum and your maximum. So you can change this according to what you want. Uh, okay, so if you wanted to switch it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you would just have to do this all reverse, and you'd end up doing um, your conversion as divided by 5 divided by 9 plus 32. Um, I'm not going to go through that. Um, anyways, I hope this helped. Uh, you can watch my other videos to help you learn. Um, lab view, um, and I'll keep posting them as I learn more myself. So, hope that helped. Um, good luck with it.